Sinking Media in association with Box Rob. The longest undefeated streak in the UK, as we just talked about there. How do you assess your performance tonight, Thomas? All right, it was it was all right performance. Um, probably could have done a lot of things a lot better and different, but you know, just go through the motions. Uh, it was all right. Um, but yeah, probably until Tyson wins next month. I fancy Tyson to dust up white, and then you know he'll be back on top. Well, it's, it's quite. Um, exclusive club to be in to have the longest undefeated streak in the UK I think you know that fight it, it was one of those where if people were going to predict it beforehand they would have said you were via wide points decision so it kind of went the way most people thought it would but when you were in there did you feel comfortable did you think maybe I could step up the gears a bit yeah I mean you know the thing with the fighting is like I was comfortable in there and I was just like I said I was going through the motions but there's times where you're a little burst and you come out but you know it's a tough well-schooled guy, so he knows his way around the ring. Seeing it with Archie Sharp, you know he's super big, super featherweight too. So, you know, but you know, you just you got to take a round at a time and see as it goes. Like most of the fights go the distance anyway, so that's what everyone, like you said, everyone probably is expecting it. Well, as long as you get the W, that's the most important thing. So, you've been go you've been around a long time, mate. So, where do you see your career going, going next? Uh, I leave that in the hands of Paul Bellum. My management team and Neil Fanny, my trainer, you know, they, they're doing the, the deals and seeing what's going on. I think, um, I think they're going to push me forward and see what comes out. They do want to keep me a little bit busy as well, so, you know, we'll just see how it goes. You know, I'm happy, I'm happy along with the ride, but obviously I'm closing in on world titles and them's the ones that I don't want. How far do you think you are away from like a potential world title eliminator or even a world title shot? I believe it could happen probably at any minute, to be honest. Obviously, with my record and what I've done, obviously so far, I think a fight could, with any world champion, could happen at any any given point, or a final eliminator to be made mandatory. But like I said, that's up to the team and the management to, to do their job and see what see what's what. Um, for me, I've just got to whoever they've got to put in front of me, I've just got to keep winning. That's my main focus. I know when you were with Sky, the John O'Carroll fight was quite close to happening, but John O went with Scott Quigg at the time. Could that potentially be a, a fight down the line? But John O's uh, the way above, and he's super featherweight, but yeah, but like, yeah, I mean, maybe down the line, yeah, you never know, yeah? Yeah, good point, that, because I remember that's when he was at featherweight. But either way, you've got a good record now, and obviously, it's just the right fight, like you said. If it comes along, you're going to take it. Yeah, of course. I, like I said, I'm open to anything. I'm, you know, we're back with open arms. But like I said, it's the management side and the business side of things that they've got to go through. So, you know, but I'm, I'm here and I'm here for a long time. I'm not going anywhere. And just to wrap up on Probellum, what a first event in in the UK, I think it is. And uh, you impressed? Very good. Probellum's. Um, no, they had one in December. I boxing, I boxing December on Probellum. So. But you know, the promotion team and the, the events that they do is absolutely fantastic and it looks like they're going to take over boxing in a big way. Well Thomas, I wish you all the best and if Fury does take you over next time, I'm pretty sure you'll uh, over-track him again. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Cheers Tom. Thank you.